Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you my top 10 equipment mods for Farming Simulator 22 on console so far. And this is only going to be equipment, but if you'd like to see my favourite vehicle mods, placeables or any other mod categories, let me know in the comments. So first up is the Plus and Chrome Baler Pack with Lizard R90. And this is a baler with a windrower attached, so if you're working on a big field, this can save quite a bit of time as you won't have to windrow before you start baling. And there's two balers to choose from in this pack and both of them have a 10.3 meter working width. There's the Class Quadrant 5300 plus Lizard R90 which costs £185,500, requires 250 horsepower, has a 10 mile per hour working speed and produces square bows from 180 centimeters to 240 centimeters. For configurations, the wheel brand can be changed, but there's no different wheel setups. There is colour options. We have chassis colour rake and colour design rake. For licence plates, there's type 1 and 2. Placement is back only or no plate. Now this is the other baler, the Crone Big Pack 1290 HDP plus Lizard 90, which costs 185000 requires 245 horsepower, has a 10 mile per hour working speed and produces square bows from 180 centimeters to 240 centimeters. And there's no wheel brands or wheel setups with this, but you can add on a silage additive tank that holds 120 liters of silage additive. So if you make a lot of silage bows, this baler will be the better one to go for. And this also has the same colour and licence plate options as the other baler. Next up is the Lizard Platform Trailers. If you couple this with the last mod, you can make very quick work of baling because these trailers can auto-load bows. And there's four different trailers in this pack. Starting off with the 85, which is the smallest one. This holds 28 bows and costs 15,500. Next is the 100. This holds 32 bows and costs 18,500. Then there's the 115 which holds 36 bows and costs 24,500. And the biggest one is the 130 that holds 42 bows and costs 31,500. And the number of bows that the trailers hold is for auto loading. But you can use these trailers without auto load and load the bows up yourself. Then you can put as many on as you want. But if you are using auto load, they will take round bows from 125 centimeters to 180 centimeters and square bows from 180 centimeters to 240 centimeters. And that's the same for every trailer in this pack. There's also different configurations for these trailers and the options are the same for every trailer. So there's all the usual wheel brands and you can have standard or wide tires. Then in design, we have extensions and there's six different options. And then we have the auto load feature. So if you want to use that, make sure that you put it on before you buy this trailer. You'll see it removes the side part when it's put on. Also, we can change the hitch. There's a low hitch ball and a normal hitch pin. Then we have color options. There's main color, design color, and rim color. Lastly is the license plate. And you can have type one or two, and placement can be back only or no plate. Moving on, we have the John Deere HX20 Batwing Mower. And this requires 75 horsepower, has a 6.2 meter working width with a 13 miles per hour working speed. For the configurations, there's John Deere or Mitus wheel brands, but no different wheel setups. Then there's a light system, which adds these small lights on the back. And the main reason this mod's on the list is because of the mulcher option, which turns this mower into a mulcher. So not only does this have a good working width and speed for mowing, but you can also use this as a mulcher, and this will mulch crop stubble and grass. So if you have the mulcher configuration on this, and you want to mow grass, you will have to take it off, because if you leave it on, the grass will be mulched. So just remember that. Next up, we have the chicken transport trailers. And these will allow you to buy chickens from the animal dealer and take them back to your coop. So you don't just have to buy chickens through the menu with this mod. And there's two trailers to pick from. We have the Big Chicken Master Western WCF, 
which costs 16,000. And as this is a horse trailer, you can transport horses as well as chickens with this one. And it holds two horses or 30 chickens. For configurations, there's no wheel brand options, but the wheel setup can be changed. And there's standard or standard two. Then we have main color. And lastly, license plate. There's type one or two. And placement can be back only or no plate. The other trailer is the Silver Chicken Star, which costs 80,000 and you can only transport chickens with this trailer and it holds 180 of them. For configurations, only the rim colour can be changed and the licence plate has the same options as the other trailer. Moving on, we have the Trans 70 trailer. This costs 36,000 and has a 70,000 litre capacity and with this trailer, you can raise the back up to unload it. So with this you can unload directly into a bunker at the BGA or even if you want to unload anything from this trailer into a smaller trailer, you can do that. For configurations, there's Trailborg and Michelin tyres and both of them have a wide tyre option. Then there's main colour and rim colour. Lastly is licence plate and there's type 1 and 2 and for placement there's back only or no plate. Next up we have the Gutler Matador 610S Roller. This costs 15,000, requires 80 horsepower and has a 6 meter working width. And this can also be front mounted. In configurations there's only a design option. So there's roller and grassland roller. If you select the roller option, you can use this on your field to roll the soil. And if you select grassland roller option, you can use this to roll your grass. So with this mod, you can have one roller that can be used for field work and grass work just by changing the design option. Moving on, we have the Lizard Subsoiler 6MT slash 9MT, which is a subsoiler with a plow function. So it has the create fields option and it works in the exact same way as a plow. So you just turn create fields on and then you can plow in your new field. And there's two different working widths for this subsoiler and you can change that in the configurations. The first option is the 6MT, which costs 17,000, requires 260 horsepower, and has a 6 meter working width with a 10 mile per hour working speed. And the second option is the 9MT, which costs 19,000, requires 320 horsepower, has a 9 meter working width with a 10 mile per hour working speed. So it's good that you can change the working width in the configurations with this subsoiler, because if you bought one with the smaller working width, and wanted a wider working width later on, you wouldn't have to buy a whole new piece of equipment. You could just change it in the workshop. And then the main color and design color can be changed for both options. Next up, we have the Vicon PS fertilizer spreader. This holds solid fertilizer or lime, costs 3,450 pound, has an 18 meter working width with a 12 mile per hour working speed. For configurations, there is an extension and design. In extensions there's the PS1004 which is the standard configuration that will hold 1000 litres. Then there's the PS1654 that adds the extension on and this will increase the capacity to 1650 litres. Moving on to design, all of these options are just for looks and won't change how the spreader performs. But there is standard, support wheels, spraying sheet and wheels and spraying sheet. Moving on, we have the Lizard Mother Bins 150T Auger Wagon. This costs 135,000, requires 300 horsepower, and has a 185,000 litre capacity. And this will hold every type of grain. So wheat, barley, oat, canola, sorghum, sunflowers, soybeans, and corn. And it will also hold solid fertilizer or seeds. So if you're doing a big harvest far away from your farm, and haven't got the time to cart your crop back and forth to your silo, you can use this to store your crops on the side of the field. Or if you have a big field that you need to sow or fertilize, you can bring this over to the field and it will hold plenty of solid fertilizer or seed that can be unloaded directly into a seeder or spreader from the unloading pipe on the auger wagon. For configurations, we can change the wheel brand and setups. So we have trail ball tires, and the wheel setups for these are standard, wide tires, standard two, wide tires two, 
standard 3, wide tyres 3, wide tyres 4, standard 4, wide tyres 5 and wide tyres 6. Then we have BKT tyres with standard or wide wheel setups, Michelin tyres and the wheel setups for these are standard, wide tyres, wide tyres 2, standard 2 and wide tyres 3. Next is Nokian tyres with standard wheel setup, wide tyres, wide tyres 2 and standard 2. Then we have Mitas tyres and the only wheel setups for these are wide tyres. And lastly we have Verdestein tyres and the wheel setups are standard, wide tyres, wide tyres 2, standard 2, wide tyres 3 and wide tyres 4. Next is coupler configuration and there's normal hitch pin or low ball hitch. Then we have rim colour with orange or black to choose from. And for licence plate we have type 1 and 2 and placement is back only or no plate. Now for the last mod we have the Amazon D830 pack. This pack includes the Rabe MKE300 power harrow which costs 9000 requires 95 horsepower and has a 3 meter working width and the Amazon D830 Cedar which costs 10,000 requires 85 horsepower and has a 3 meter working width and there's no configuration options for either piece of equipment but the reason this mod's on the list is because not only does it include a cheap power harrow and cedar that doesn't require much horsepower but the power harrow and cedar can be attached together which turns this into a direct drill so you can cultivate and sow your field at the same time. You can use both pieces of equipment separately as well, they don't have to be used together but the option is there to use them together if you want to. So this mod's perfect for if you're just starting out and don't have much money or a very powerful tractor. And that brings us to the end of my top 10 equipment mods, so that's everything for today. Let me know what your favourite equipment mods are in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did let me know by leaving a like and feel free to subscribe so you never miss another video.